this video has been requested by a bunch of you guys for a while now and this is an update to things in my collection it has actually been over a year ago since i did a video on this channel where i went through things in my own personal collection back then i just recently had moved and gave you guys an idea of why i had in my seal collection well today i'm gonna be going through my graded card collection so you guys can see what cards i have graded these range from psa graded cards to ace graded cards and and there's quite a few some of them are pretty good some of them have good value to them that i went out of my way to grade to try and get a 10 to get a good return on to sell in the future but then there are some others which are just my own personal favorite pokemon that i wanted to have in my collection so let's jump in and you guys can see what i've been collecting in graded cards all right so what graded cards have i been adding into my collection over the past few years it's been a while since i've graded anything i'm waiting to send off a bunch of load of stuff to psa so i have roughly around 100 cards so i'm going to be sending off this summer to psa to get graded so there's gonna be a lot more cards added to this graded collection some of these are personal favorites like some of my favorite pokemon they're not necessarily got the best grades but i'm not too i don't really care that much on the grades i just wanted to have them in a really cool looking slab and there are others where I went out of my way to grade to try and make profit on. And there are definitely some that I am able to do so with that anyway. So let's jump into the first lot. First off, I'm going to show you the ones which I went out of my way to get to add into my own personal collection. Now, some of my favorite Pokemon, at the end of the day, I like to grade my favorite Pokemon. Even though some Pokemon are really good value, I just don't want them in my collection. But these ones, I went out of my way to pick up. And I don't really care about the, you know, like I say, the grades or the value. So Alola Nine Tails, Nine Tails, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. I have every single Alola Nine Tails in an Ace graded slab, and they haven't got the best grades, but we do have some really nice ones today. So first off, we've got the Alola Nine Tails from Burning Shadows. This is the Cracked Ice Hollow. This is from the theme deck. I only got a grade five, so uh, not the best. I mean, I might get it regraded. I might get another one down the line and regrade it and try and get uh, a better grade. But one of the things I like about Ace is not necessarily the value but their slabs are really really thick they're proper solid slabs but not only that they got these really cool looking labels and you'll see some really cool ones later on this is a really nice card i've, I've went out of my way like i say to get a whole bunch of different nine tails so we're continuing the nine tails train here we have a ace six yeah not the best this is from guardians rising a lower nine tails a gx and a lot of these uh i've probably got like some marks on them yeah as you can see all along the side there you've got some whining marks here and there but i just wanted to grade them so i wanted to have each one of them in my collection down the line i will look to upgrade these uh, to higher grades but that's one of the reasons why i've got a five here six here and it's kind of cool right because the color matching labels match the style of the card that's why you got this blue uh two different shades of blue to match the colors of the cards which i think is really cool and you know, Ace Green's a greeting company over here in the UK, and they do some really, really nice slabs. So here we have another lower nine tails coming in. This one is from a half deck, a lower nine tails hollow. This is a black star promo, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I really like it, but I only got again a six, not the best. Um, now, one thing I will say with Ace Grading is they are pretty uh, tough when it comes to grading, like really, really tough especially in the earlier times like when the company first died they were very very tough like i've sent over cards that were psa nines to them to you know transfer over to their slabs and they came back as sixes and sevens so that's how kind of like brutal they used to be i think they've gone a little bit better now where they're not so savage when it comes to their grading because i, I kind of feel like you can go wrong if you grade too harshly uh, I, I really do because if you grade too harshly people won't grade with you you know so then we have a lower nine tails obviously this is all gonna be a lower nine tails but this one is from cosmic eclipse this is a hollow gorgeous looking hollow card this one's got a seven so a little bit better again look at the color label matching this one i don't know why uh they didn't do the same with this one right like i don't know why that's not pink and that's blue but yeah just notice that bit of, bit of a weird one there but again pretty nice a little bit better in a seven uh, it's probably got some white ends here you can see along the top there it's got some white ends and stuff like that that's fine it's one of the reasons why uh, i sent it over to them they're not that expensive to grade with either which is not too bad then we've got the gx actually it's one of my favorite ones this one's from guardians rising again a seven not the best uh, of course but it's still a gorgeous looking card really nice i would like them to do more 
just regular nine tails. I'll probably go for a regular nine tails next, but yeah, as you can see, you've got some scuff marks around the edges and stuff. Like that. A lot of these I actually just picked up off eBay, super cheap because they're just hollows and uh, regular GXs. Nothing like super crazy. I was like, you know what? I'll send them off, get graded. I just want them all in my collection, and uh, I'm pretty happy. But like I say, I'll probably upgrade these. Maybe down the line, I might upgrade them to uh, PSA. Like I'll go and get a, you know better condition ones and send them off. But yeah, I love a lone nine tails. This one here is from Team Up Hollow Nine Tails. This is an absolutely gorgeous looking one. One of my favorite hollows, actually. I don't normally grade hollows. It's not something I would normally grade, but um, I will grade these just because they're my favorite. So, uh, which is pretty good. Right now, we're getting to some real juicy ones. So, we've got a Rainbow Alone Nine Ninetales GX from Lost Thunder. This one only got a seven, but this is what I'm talking about the ace labels match the cards. Really nice. And I do like this. It's a shame we got seven. Uh, on the front, you can see it's uh, it's pretty off-centered, right? It's very, very heavy on the right-hand side. If we look at the back, we could probably see there's probably some uh, marks in the corners or something like that around the edges along with all the others. But like I say, they were pretty harsh. You know, these aren't pack fresh cards. These were cards I did actually buy from people. So, you know, they were kind of like binder collections, which I managed to pick up a while ago of certain cards. Right, now we've got slightly better grades. We've got an 8 coming in. Low and 9 tails GX from Lost Thunder. So Lost Thunder's got quite a lot. Uh, and so is Guardians Rising with a low and 9 tails. I mean, I doubt we'll see many low and 9 tails for a while. Just because they are Sun and Moon era. Like we didn't see any in um, Sword and Shield. But uh, we did see uh, Vulpix though. And then we've got another rainbow. This one here is the Guardians Rising GX Secret Rare. In an 8. So we're getting a little bit better here. This one's a gorgeous looking one. Again, this one I... Uh, bought off eBay. They're pretty cheap, and um, you, yeah, it's got a bit of whitening in the corners there, and probably a few more here and there on the corners. But overall, a really, really nice card. Again, I love the label. Got the eight. Goes with the rainbow. We got another eight. We've got the lower nine tails GX. This one's from Lost Thunder. This is the full art version. Again, got the color match label to go with it, which is just absolutely stunning. Beautiful looking card. Probably the same thing with a few nicks there, here and there in the corner. Centering's not the best, but it's, you know, pretty bottom heavy. Final one I did get is a 10, which is actually one of my favorites, which is the Hidden Fates Eleven Nine Tails. This one I actually did pull from a pack, and then I went and sent off and got graded. Gen Mint 10, absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite Nine Tails. I would like to get the Rainbows in the 10 down the line, um, but this one is really, really nice. So like I said, I'm probably going to upgrade these. Uh, in the future, maybe with PSA and try and get better versions of these. But these are just some which I just like the look of. Okay, next up we have a bunch of PSA graded cards. A lot of these were cards which I do like. And some of them I went on my way to sell down the line. So we have this Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go in a PSA 10. Absolutely nice card. Look, I had a couple of these actually in a PSA 10. Sold a few on the website. Um, this is a card where I pulled quite a lot actually. All of these were all from packs. Uh, I ended up thinking it's enough three until I got one left. This one is going to be available on the stream on the 30th of June, guys. We're going to be doing a uh, we're going to be doing a YouTube dip box. We have a chance to win this PSA 10 Radiant Charizard as one of the prizes. You definitely want to jump in on that stream and hope to win this bad boy. We do have that one. Pokemon Go doesn't get as much love, really. It's not the best set, really. Here we go. Galarian Articuno, absolutely gorgeous in a PSA 10. Absolutely stunning from the Trainer Gallery of Astral Radiance. These are going up. Like a lot of these Trainer Galleries, some of the bigger Trainer Gallery cards are actually going up. I will be doing a video where we'll be going through all the prices of these as well and see if I've actually made profit from uh, when I graded them. Because I graded these probably about, I think it might have been about the beginning of 2023, I think. Uh, the end of 2022. So it's been a year since I've had these now. And down the line, I do want to get uh, a lot more graded, like I say. And you know, off sell some of these and see how we get on. So we got the Zapdos as well in a 10. Absolutely gorgeous looking card. I was very fortunate actually. I've got quite a few 10s we'll go through. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Legendary Birds, guys. So that's one of the reasons why I have quite a few. All right, next up, we've got the Flareon VMAX. We've got a bunch of these promos. These ones were from uh, those premium tournament collection boxes or premium boxes. And they get really expensive, like super expensive. These are hard to grade in a 10. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed. Their, their population in 10 is quite low. Promos are usually quite tough. And this one got a 9. I'm, I'm happy to go a 9. I wish it got a 10. 
Uh, I don't know why I got a 9. I mean, there's a nick there in the corner, so that's one of obvious things straight away. But it did get a 9. I sent one of each of them off. Next up, we have my boy T-Tar. This one got an 8. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Why? Well, as you can see on the front, I mean, literally, it is way off center, especially on the top. And a little bit on the right there, but definitely on the top is way off center. On the back, though, on the back, again, it is top heavy. Uh, but I think that's about it. I think it's literally the center is just so bad. And that was the downside of uh, getting this. I've actually bought this card off eBay. I bought it really cheap. I think I bought this card maybe £50, if something like that. And then I was like, sent off to get graded. It is it's quite interesting. This is now worth more raw than it is in an 8 and this even in a 9. So it's quite crazy. But I'm, I'm happy to have it in my collection anyway. I'll look to upgrade it to a 10 in the future. For sure this is one i really like this is the flareon ex from the radiant collection i only got a nine really wanted to get a 10. i absolutely love this card it is super adorable it really is nice i've never opened up generations but i did buy this card off somebody on facebook and then i sent it off to get graded and i was pretty happy I actually got a nine which is actually pretty decent quite hard to get in a 10. there's not like that many but this is a gorgeous card in a 10 it fetches a pretty hefty price which, uh, you know, makes sense, means there's like less of them around. All right, back into Pokemon Go, we've got the Mewtwo OR. Uh, again, I pulled quite a few of these from Pokemon Go. I was actually quite lucky in Pokemon Go. Not the best set to be lucky on, obviously, but I had a couple of these in a 10. I actually like this card, really nice. I love the artwork. I know it's not the most expensive card, but it is really, really nice. I just love that art style. I'm not a huge fan of Pokemon Go as a set, but I do rate the Mewtwo. I do think it is very very nice okay then we have another nice card sylveon only in an eight though this is the sylveon again from the radiant collection of generations beautiful card uh, i think this one had a problem with um nicks and wear and tear like look at that corner look at that you can see that there but yeah this one is kind of obvious that it probably got an eight but it's nice it's one i have in my collection it's not one that i'm looking at selling unless i'm looking to upgrade to a 10 in the future but uh, it is one of my favorites. Speaking of favorites, this is my favorite alt art from the whole of the Sword and Shield era, the Galarian Articuno, in an eight. Again, like the Tyranitar, you can see why. Look at the centering of this bad boy. The first print run of Trillium Rain, which was, I put this on my very first booster box, was terrible. Like the, you know, people talk about print quality in the Scarlet and Violet, print quality in Sword and Shield, especially for the first waves of a lot of these sets, were absolutely atrocious. And this is a prime example, right? This came in the first prim wave of chill and rain first booster box i think it was like the day the set came out did a video on the video on did a video on the channel pulled this bad boy and it got an eight and the center on it is absolutely terrible i will get this in a 10 i want to upgrade this to a 10 because it is my favorite old art from the whole of the sword and shield era so it means a lot to me so we have the jolteon up next a nine again didn't get a 10 i do like this one though i do prefer this than the v card i think this is very cool i might down the line i'm tempted to buy more of those boxes i know they've gone up in price but i actually think that you could make a decent amount of money and make profit uh if you try and grade these and get these in 10 if you don't then you're probably gonna be like breaking even to what you paid for but that's fine you know that's fine next up we've got uh the galarian birds i actually bought this from a card show i think i bought this from the london card show uh, a couple of years ago what if like 40 pounds something like that i think it's gone up since but this is from hidden fates we've got the rainbow birds gx and a psa 10 Again, like I say, I'm a massive fan of the birds. I know it's not like a massively expensive card, but it is still really, really nice. Then we got the Sylveon, Sylveon V, again from Brilliant Stars. This one's going up in price right now. I only got a nine in this one, which is a bit of a bummer, but Sylveon's my favorite evolution and one of my favorite cards from the Sword and Shield era. I think the Trainer Gallery in Brilliant Stars is absolutely amazing. But yeah, shame this one got a nine because this one is one of my favorite artworks. We got more evolutions coming in. We got the Jolteon V this time again in a nine. I was, like I said, I prefer the V Max than the V, although the artwork is kind of cool on this one. It is a shame it got a nine. I think it's mainly because of the centering look. It looks a little bit heavy there. Um, I don't think this one had uh, any nicks. Got a little bit of whitening there in the corner, but yeah, not the perfect card. Only a nine. Again, like I say, I'm, I'm really tempted to get some more. You get some good packs in there as well. Then we've got the Flareon. This is actually one of my favorite old arts that they do from this collection boxes. Absolutely beautiful. Amazing. I love it when it's all cozy up by the fire. Again, another nine. I think this one, promos are tough to grade, like I say. I think this one, again, might have some nicks in the corners here and there. A little bit of whitening. And that is the problem, right? When you try and get these promos out of these boxes, 
they can get damaged, and that's one of the reasons why they're quite difficult to grade. Then we've got the Galerian Moltres OR oh, PSA 8, kind of brutal that he got an 8. Again, this is going to be another card which I'm looking to upgrade to a 10 in the future. Uh, this one here, I think is mainly due to centering. Again, first print run, Chillin' Rain, was absolutely brutal. As we saw with the Arcuno, it's exactly the same with the Moltres. Look at that. Really heavy on the right there. And even when you flip it over, you can see, look at that. It looks like the whole card's just shifted to the right. But I wanted to get it graded. I want to get it in the slab. Um, but it is still a really, really nice card. And then we got another Galarian Articuno V, PSA 10 from the trainer gallery i sent a few of these off and like i say they are going up in price which is always good to hear then we got the big ticket item we've got the moonbrion we have a psa 10 moonbrion this is the most expensive card in my collection this is just insane right this card is like the modern day charizard as it were everybody's after this card there is a lot of these in the psa 10 these like 10k 11k and these in the 10 i do feel like this is going to be a holy grail item in the future and I think even so now, this is just such a big card that everybody wants. I actually didn't pull this one myself. I actually got this in a box break when the set first dropped. So I think it might be like maybe a week or two when the set dropped. I got it from uh, somebody's box break. And this card is phenomenal. I mean, when I pulled it then, I mean, when I got it, what was it? Probably like 150, something like that, 120 pounds. It wasn't exactly the is thousand like it is now. Uh, but yeah, absolutely stunning. Thing is when i got this back graded the price of this dropped like crazy it dropped like two to five two two to 250 dollars after i got it graded but now it's starting to bounce back up now it's starting to appreciate in value and uh, i'm pretty happy that's not my favorite card though this is actually one of my favorite cards that i have got graded uh in a psa 10 until i can get that glaring articuno in a 10 this is my favorite psa 10 card i have i absolutely love this rainbow charizard fun fact i pulled this in my first ever champions path etp and the only champions path product i've ever opened i haven't opened up champions path i got it on stream i was like you know what i have this champion path etb i was like i was gonna sell the etb and i was like you know what i'm gonna open it and see how well i do and i pulled it on stream it was absolutely crazy in a psa 10 beautiful stunning card one of my favorite designs of charizard right there then we've got the urshifu coming in this is the rapid strike one in a psa 10 uh, from Battle Styles. So this one did actually grade quite well, even though the Tyranitar got absolutely butchered in an 8. This one, however, did get 10. This one I didn't pull. I actually got this off eBay uh, as well. So like I say, I'll probably do a price up uh, in a future video with all these cards and see if I've made profit over the past year. Because it was a year ago since I received these. This was the first time I did it with PSA. And like I said, I'm going to do another one in the summer. And then we'll do a follow-up video. I'll do a video going through what I'm going to send off. And then you guys can have an idea and then we can do a recap once we get them back so this one is another one i really like the artwork from the sun and moon i like collecting tag team cards and i thought to myself you know what i want to grade them as well and this was definitely one with the reshiram and charizard I kind of feel like reshiram doesn't get much love these days then we did get a psa 10 vaporeon v max from those promos from those boxes this is the only 10 that i managed to get and i was kind of lucky because it's my favorite artwork so i'm really happy this is going up in price pretty insane i think this is probably one of the ones that's probably gave me a decent amount of money after getting it graded and like i say i'm tempted to do it again with a whole bunch of those promos then we have the mew v max rainbow from fusion strike i don't actually have that much from fusion strike i never really opened up the set i don't have the gengar or anything else but i don't think i have any of the old arts especially graded so the mew rainbow absolutely stunning i actually pulled this in a pokey rev mystery pack i was like you know what i'm gonna send it off and get graded Got a 10. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, we have the Sylveon Trainer Gallery VMAX in a 10. So we got the other one um, in a 9, but this one in a 10. Absolutely stunning artwork. I really do rate this one. One of my favorite Trainer Gallery cards coming in in a PSA 10. Again, going up in value. I don't have the Umbreons. That is one thing I, I, I do want to get next. Then we got the Leafeon, uh, Alt Art from Evolving Skies. Did get a 9, couldn't get a 10. Look at the centering. That's why. Look at that. Really heavy on the left, uh, which is a downside. And then a little bit heavy on the top as well. So it's a bit top heavy, bit, bit heavy on the sides. But apart from that, the rest of the card is really nice. Yeah, shame we got a 9. But like I say, Evolving Skies, anything EV, pretty crazy. Now this one's crazy. Speaking of crazy, look at this one. We've actually got an off-centered grade Zapdos. First print run of Chillin' Rain. If you want proof of how bad 
sword and shield balls of the first prim runs. This is probably the worst one. It did get a nine, but look how off it is. Look at it. I mean, that is thick. And then look, look at that. It might as well not even have anything on the back. It's actually not bad on the back, right? You look at the back and actually you're like, yeah, that looks pretty good. On the front, however, I don't know what on earth went, went with that one. But that's quite an interesting one to have. Still a beautiful card, though. Still beautiful. Then we got the Arceus. Uh, oh, uh, PSA 10 from Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars actually graded very, very well. I don't have the Charizard. I need the Charizard. I want to send off the Charizard once I get hold of one. Now, the downside with all these old arts nowadays, because they're so expensive, it's actually getting to the point where buying, just a, if you want to grade it, buying a straight PSA 10 is probably better than buying a raw one. I think we're getting down that road, right? I saw the other day that we had a Leaf. I think it was the Leaf on VMAX from Evolving Skies. It was like $50 difference between a raw and a PSA 10. Then we've got a PSA 5. Look at this. 5, right? So I sent off a whole bunch of these, like a whole bunch. And look at this. Look at that print crimp. Now, I didn't realize when I sent this off, I sent off, like I said, maybe like 10 to 15 of these. This one got a 5. And I was like, how on earth has this got a 5? And then I didn't realize. And then I saw it. And I was like, holy smokes. I don't know. Has it gone on the back as well? Yeah, look at that print crimp. That is just absolutely crazy. So, yeah, I'm quite happy to have this. Even though it's a 5, I do think it's kind of funny that, uh, it does have the print crimp, but these in a 10 are going up in value. So I am going to be grading more of those actually in my next submission. Then we've got the Vaporeon, 9 again. Uh, like I say, the VMAX was the only one that got a 10. Beautiful, stunning card. I think again, it's just the, the same thing with these promos. It's just trying to, you know, a little bit of whitening in the corners. Trying to get these in a 10 is just super difficult. Super, super difficult. We're going Cosmic, baby. Cosmic Eclipse, PSA 10, Rainbow, Blastoise, and Piplup. Pulled this one in a break ages ago. Super excited. I mean, this is when Cosmic Eclipse was like 9, 10 pound a pack. So it was quite cheap. Now you're looking at like double that. So yeah, beautiful Cosmic. Uh, one of my only Cosmic cards I have graded. Uh, there's a lot more other cards. Again, Tag Team I love. I do want to get some more Tag Team cards graded from the Sun and Moon era. And then we've got the Big Boy Zard from Dance of Blaze. This card has dropped a lot in value, mainly because Dance Blaze is kind of poor. And on top of that, this is just a regular VMAX. This is actually reasonably easy to pull. Did get a 10 though. I actually pulled this and sent this off um, and it did get a PSA 10. Not the biggest card, but still a really nice artwork. I love that design. And then finish off, we have the final card, which is the shiny Charizard VMAX. Like I said, I love this design of Charizard in a 10. Absolutely stunning. I pulled this in a video when I opened up a Shiny Fates ETB. Did a profit and loss and I pulled it. Safe to say about well, profit. But yeah, this card has dropped in value quite a lot since its heyday. Like when Shining Face came out, this in the PSA 10 was fetching over 500 a piece. And it's definitely not that case now. I think it's like 25% of that price now. Maybe like 125, 150 for this in a PSA 10. It is a lot cheaper. Um, but yeah, overall, that is it. So that's all the graded cards I do have in my collection. Like I say, I'm going to be grading a whole bunch more this summer. And some of the community cards as well. We've got some of the members and some of the subscribers on the channel, which are going to send off some cards and grade for them as well, which is going to be really, really interesting. And you guys can check it all out once I get it all back as well. But I will be doing a follow-up video, like I say, going through some of the big cards here. And if I've made profit from a year ago, which would be kind of nice to do a little follow-up to how much it was then and how much it is now. Have I made profit? You can make a good amount of profit from graded cards. It's just Knowing what cards to grade and on top of that, kind of giving a good idea of what they could get. It really does depend, um, but what to look out for when grading as well. But that's it for me, guys, in today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, me going through my graded card collection. I'm going to be doing more collection videos down the line. I know you guys will want to see everything I have from singles to sealed to graded to everything else. So, you know, you'll get it in drips and drabs. It's not, unfortunately, it's not all here for me to do all in one go. But uh, it's kind of scattered amongst different places. So I'm trying to get everything together and show you guys bit by bit of my collection, which would be pretty cool. If you've made this far in the video and you've enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments on my graded card collection. Are you looking forward to seeing how well I've done and what I'm going to send off? Let me know in the comments and let me know what you've been grading. What's your favorite cards? What's your biggest card in your collection? I want to know. And if you have pictures of them, join the Discord and put them up in the discord so everybody can see it and so i can see it because i love seeing people's collections and i love to see some really sweet sweet cards but if you want to see what i went through in my sealed collection it was about a year or just over a year ago now so make sure to click the video on the screen and if you watch more pokemon content guys you know what to do 
make sure to hit that subscribe button all right guys that's it for me in this video thank you so much for watching as always you guys are legends i'll see you in the next one